what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you guys how to do lightning effect here in kenya master so first thing i want to do now is to click on this add select the aspect ratio of a screen now let's do in our footage so first thing i'm going to do now is to load in the background just click here then add the background it can be any color doesn't matter this time okay so first thing i want to add is a layer so click on this layer go to media then our import that is good so the first thing now is to crop this green screen so just come down here select cropping then crop it like so it's too much and drag it down a little okay now we have to key this green out so come down select chroma key then enable it click here to see the alpha mask then you can adjust it to get a better key like so this is clipping you can just drag this back a little this is good this is looking nice all right okay so first thing now is to add the background let's set up the background first before we add the lightning effect click here to add a layer go to media and then i will scale it up then i will drag it down like so okay so first thing i will do now is to just drag this to the end of the frame then click on the green screen footage click option here then bring to front select that now you can see our background is underneath of our green screen layer click on the green screen layer then expand it to fit the screen properly all right now when you play this you have something like this which is the normal key out of the green screen and add a background to it all right so that is done then the next thing to do now is to add our lightning effect so click on this layer select overlay now when you come down just come down we see get more then you can download the lightning effect from there so i've already downloaded mine so you can see lightning effect just click on it after doing that now select i'm using the first one just click on it now we have the effect so when you play through you have something like this which is the lightning of course now you can see that this effect is not up to the end of the frame so you can just drag it to the end on the frame like so all right now we need to animate this lightning to fit our hand properly and scale up as my hand goes wider okay so click on the effect now scale it down let's first of all to pick the end frame so just rotate it like so then scale it up scale it down rather scale it down more just have to draw it properly okay now we have this and just click on the effect select this key to animate it all right just press add here to click when you do this we add a keyframe to this and drag to the next frame like so then scale it down then adjust it to where my hand is growing just do it gradually scale it down drag it all right then gradually scale it down drag it so what i will do now is we just go to the end frame just scale it down and drag it then move it to where my hand is so when you play this now we have something like this all right we are getting somewhere okay so now we have the lightning and it's correctly animated to my hand so we want the lightning to be flicking and we don't want just to be stuck like this so we want to be to be flicking just click on the effect now click here which is the animation all over you can see all over animation just click on flicker select this now you see that this effect is flicking and this is exactly what we want to add to this all right now this is really looking nice so the next step to take now is to make sure 
our background is also flaking and to do this is quite tricky so what we do now is we select the background now click here here select duplicate now that we duplicate this background we have it on top of all our layers that's the reason why you are not seeing any green screen or the key effect here so what we do now is to send it back so click on the effect select this option again then you can bring it but when you bring it back it's underneath the flicker so what we do now is to send it to back so now we have all our effects on top again so we want to animate want to edit the one that is on each other so we don't want to edit the one that is back but so just click on the effect come down to adjustment now just come to temperature you can do it in highlight and temperature let's first of all play with the highlight you are not seeing anything yet because this is the under one so just leave it then select the other one now you see the effect so drag the highlight down like so so click on it again now go to all over animation select that then select flicker now you can see that we have already have a flaking effect here also and which we sell this effect to be more nicer all right so i want to also add a flicker effect to my body okay so obviously when this is really working so we have some flicking effect on my body also. so click on the effect also click here and duplicate this all right so just click on one now we have the effect underneath just click on the effect click the option here so bring this to front so we have everything set up correctly again now select the green screen effect just come down to adjustment now we need to increase the temperature now you see that nothing is going on it's because we choose the second one so click on the first one like so select it again now if you play with the effect you see that we have something going on here also so come to temperature then increase the temperature like so so three is okay so press okay now select this again go to all over animation now also select flicker effect to this so when you play this we have something like this which is the proper effect and this is how to do this effect okay the last effect that we add to this to crop this just click on layer overlay then i have the crop effect i downloaded so you can get it here all the effect i'm using for this you can get it here in get more in Kymaster store so you can download it and use it in your project so this i have cinematic frame now we just use this all right and it will give me cinematic look i will just drag it to the end of the shot like so so this is how you can do this properly all right now you can go ahead and save your project so thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video